Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I went from this from the beginning of 2020 when I first got the Black Magic to this. A little bit more dynamic. We'll add some color correction. Looking better. Um, there's a couple different things that went into my process to change this. I used to do a simple color correction process and uh, now I do a little more of a complex. I can go a little bit step further. Sometimes I do. But I will show you the difference of what I, I mainly do. What I always do now from then to now. So let's get to it. Alright, so this is a head start. I did get the Lumidec keyboard. So some of this you might not be able to see on the screen, but I will do my best to still show you. I mean, regardless, you can do it without the loop deck. I just, the loop deck has helped me improve so much more because it's made it so quickly. But uh, as you've seen right here, with my Blackmagic camera, I literally just go in the raw settings and do a basic color correction. I still do that, did it from the beginning, and do it now. Um, but before, that's literally all I used to do. Mess with the temperature, mess with the tint, mess with the exposure. Uh, really not using any sort of scopes or anything, just using my eyeballs and seeing what the screen looks like, which is fine. Also, I know I have particular uh, things I like to look at. I like to look at the contrast, the midpoint, and the exposure. I feel like those three things really, if you narrow down on them very well, you can get a really good image. Uh, before, I just went down the road, didn't know the difference between A and B. Um, also, I don't know if you've noticed, and I'm going to kind of show this difference, but there has been a difference between how I do audio, too. Um, which is really more of a recent thing, if anything. I, I got this cool plugin that I will, uh, I will leave a link down below. Drop that. And as, as you can see, now I use scopes. And then when we go into the Lumetri color, uh, I'm going to show you kind of what the menu looks like. Basically, with everything you can't see, I'm just messing with the shadows and the highlights with the uh, Lumetri uh, keyboard, I guess you'd call it. And as I was showing, yeah, when you press the function, use the same dials, you get to do uh, you get to do a couple more different color correcting uh, techniques. They really uh, allow you to do a lot with just pressing that extra function. But uh, yeah, just going down those knobs, I literally just go one knob to the next knob to the next knob to the next knob. Once I get down with those knobs, then I press function and do all the knobs again. And then uh, at the top part where it says loom, stat, and hue, the hue is the, if I remember right, it's a high tone. The stat is the mid-tones and the lumetri is the low tones. So um, those first three knobs, the red, orange, and yellow, the only ones that seem to do anything. So I would touch each one of the, the high, the mids, and lows and just rotate back and forth. Kind of getting to feel, oh yeah, this looks fine, right? This looks fine, I like this. And um, once I get done with those, those, those final rows, uh, that I'm pretty much done. Uh, like I said, sometimes I go a little bit more advanced, do uh, an adjustment layer, and uh, do the same thing. And you know, maybe the, the skin tone's still not the right color or too dark. I'll, I'll add a mask and do a circular mask on that or a block, and do use and just rinse and repeat, but specifically dialing in on those areas. Um, but this is basically my my process now. Uh, Mess with the raw as my like basic correction, and then uh, do a more tuned in color correction with uh, the loop deck and Lumetri color. Uh, I know this. I don't know. <laughs> I hope this is helpful uh, or, or interesting. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you on the flip side.